everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll show you my workaround for creating an email distro or a group list for iOS mail. As I've said in other videos, iOS mail is a really basic app. I haven't found a better option yet, but it does require some hacks and workarounds to approximate a full service mail app. Here's a missing feature that has bugged me for years. There is no way to add an email group in contacts so that you can email the same group of people regularly. I'm sure you can immediately think of some examples in your life, but two of mine are an email group that I send photos to once a month and an email group for a discussion series that I lead. Since I can't create a group of emails, I either have to add each person individually to the email, which is error prone and annoying, or I have to go back through emails find one that I sent to this group before, forward it, and then delete the old subject and the old email text. Both of these options are a bit of a hassle. So I recently figured out a workaround. Here's what you do. First, go into your contacts app and create a new contact. So you're gonna name it something that you will remember for your group. I'm gonna call this one test group email. Okay, now here where it says email, we're gonna put in a string of email addresses separated by commas. The grammar rule is this, name, then space, then you're gonna do a less than sign, the email address, then a greater than sign, then a comma, then repeat for the next person. So you are obviously welcome to type all of these in, but again, I found a slightly easier way. Go back and find an email that you've already sent to this group and forward it. Now see down here in the body of the email, all of the email addresses are already in the correct format, so you just need to select them, copy, and then paste that into um, the email field for the contact. Okay, so once you do that, save the contact. All right, we're not quite done. You can't just use this contact in the normal way. In other words, if you open up a new email and you choose test group email, it will only bring in the very first email that you have in that group. Well, that isn't, is obviously not what you want. So instead, you need to open the contact from the app and hit the mail button from there. If you do it this way, it includes all of the email addresses on your email. You can also do this from the search bar. So like this, right? Search for test group email, tap on that contact, and then hit mail to create a new email message. Voila! It might take a little while to remember to use this workaround, but it will save you time in the end. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.